what's going on YouTube? We're at the Benji Gym. Um, as you can see, we're continuing the Boondocks. We're on uh, Season 1, Episode 4. I titled this one is Granddad's Fight. So <laughs> like Granddad about to get into a fight with somebody. I'm not sure who, but I'm kind of interested to see where this is about to go. Um, let's see. This uh, animation thing has been like really interesting. Like I really am not usually not into anime things, but like the Boondocks has really been like... It's good and it's like hilarious. So like you know what I mean, it's a plus for me. But yeah. Um, if you guys are interested in um watching this like the unedited and like before I post on YouTube, my Patreon is the best way to do that. You guys will also know when I'm gonna post it on YouTube by like, going on my Patreon, you know. Um Yeah, oh Jimmy reacts to the title of that if you guys are interested, the link is down below. But yeah, hit the like button, subscribe to the Patreon, and uh here we go. Oh. We played it a couple of times. Watch closely. You're about to experience a nigga moment. <laughs> moment when ignorance overwhelms the mind of an otherwise logical Negro male. Like stepping on each other's shoes. Oh, no, him to act in an illogical, self-destructive manner. Now they call it crashing out. <laughs> They're not hitting each other. Hey, wait, man, wait. This is stupid. Hey, you right, dawg. Let's put the guns away and go on about our business. Freeze! Oh, wow. Nigga moments will be the third leading killer of black men behind pork chops and FEMA. It's a fact. <laughs> it's a fact. Listen up, boys. I'm about to sing the new shoe song. New shoes, new shoes. Nobody in my street under this handicap parking. <laughs> huh? He just bit me. Ooh. He's slamming his car. What's up with this dude? Are you blind? Yes, I am. He was driving while he blind? I ain't even put that together. Nigga, you better have insurance. Ass whooping insurance. And you about to pay a deductible. <laughs> Who's this voice? <laughs> oh, hell no. Granddad, let's whoop this nigga's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I smell new shoes. Oh, me. Don't you oh. do it. Ooh, what you yeah, that's a, yeah. That got me. To purposely do it is crazy. Get him! 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 Oh my goodness. Ah. <laughs> Hola, Senor Piñata. Stop it, boy. Stop so it. Well. Where's my belt? I must be blind too, because I sure didn't see that ass when he cut. <laughs> oh, I thought Granddad had a heightened sense of falling. No. <laughs> and then he hit me written down his forehead in brass. <laughs> What you gonna do? Beat me? Maybe I should get a blindfold first. Yo. <sighs> what is wrong with this dude? Damn. I thought I got my ass whooped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You hurt his feelings. But that was funny, though. Oh, man. I dreamt of a blind swordsman. There is no forethought, no logic in his action. This isn't just any swordsman. This is the blind nigga samurai. <laughs> Boy, sweating. Niggas. It was this man, Robert Jebediah Freeman, who got no, beat up by a them. slightly older, significantly blinder gentleman. Police aren't pressing charges against Mr. Freeman. They say that ass woman was punishment enough. We had seen. El residente de Woodcrest, Robert Freeman. 
That Jack went global. Pick up the phone. I know you there in hiding. I seen you on the news getting your black ass whooped by that blind <laughs> old monkey. That's why they shouldn't let niggas go shopping. <laughs> Granddad, just let it die. I promise you, nobody's gonna call you a punk. I will. Well, Riley will. Where did he even come from? He gonna just do this one again? There he goes. A rematch in two weeks. This'll be great. Hey, we might be able to make some money off this. You're gonna get whooped in those two weeks. I want you to see what you're up against. <laughs> well, dang, that was graphic. <laughs> Your enemy is a Sadoichi. If you underestimate him, he will kill you. Okay, overkill. You must train. I won't fail you. I'm not afraid. Oh, you will be. Oh, is, is he about to be his master? Between me and you, your granddaddy shouldn't be too worried. Everybody knows niggas can't fight. <laughs> nah. The strength for character or the mental quickness to be a great fighter. That's why all the best fighters in the world have always been white men. You name me one great black heavyweight fighter. Name one. Go ahead, try. Name one. Muhammad Ali. Oh, you want to pull Ali out your ass? That what you think about? Well, if that nigga so tough, then why he didn't go to Vietnam? <laughs> oh, man. I called him a nigga eight times before I had breakfast. Now <laughs> before I had breakfast. I don't understand why I'm blindfolded. Because the enemy cannot see. I don't have super hearing, so I don't get why I'm fighting. Yeah. Fight. Oh, Stop! Stop. Yeah. Stop. Stop. Please. Stop. Ain't no way I would have vouched here for that. <laughs> what did he just hit at the end? What was that? Oh. Now, try again. Hitting the tree is insane. Climb tree, not kick him. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with this dude, man? Uncle Ruckus got to go. A little action on the side. He hired a street team to create the necessary hype. He puts the spread around. I put it in one spot. <laughs> okay. The fight had a huge turnout. This fight ain't starting till I get ten dollars from all y'all. <laughs> Nobody's gonna call you a fruity boy or a pansy pants if you don't do this. I will. <laughs> Riley will do everything. You scared? Yeah. You scared? Ain't your bitch never? Head games. Don't fall for it. And as I watched Stink Banner move blindly around the ring, I had a terrifying realization. He was a blind old man who had just gotten lucky. Got lucky. You know. We could all be reading a book right now. <laughs> Damn. You just beat a blind man. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. I, I, I can't. Dang. Wait, you killed him? Granddad emerged from the nigga moment victorious. Congratulations, Robert. I told you a nigga that <laughs> black couldn't fight. <laughs> Give me my money back. I want my money now. He went fight with a chair. Oh my god, a chair! <laughs> oh, it worked out. Contemplated spending the remainder of his natural life in prison. Tom and I had gotten the fight license by the State Boxing Commission at the last minute, legally indemnifying Granddad against Stink Meaner's death. 
He was a horrible, awful human being, and in truth, the world was better off with him dead. He was our Please brother. Forgive us for taking this man's life. Why you say us? You killed <laughs> <Angel Ed. laughs> Why you say us? You killed him. <laughs>